making yeah. millions of dollars yeah. off it. Yeah, yeah, just launch that and think, oh, I should take it off so we can just redo yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. I might make, I might make some millions. All
Testing, one, two, testing. We good?
Well, Lightwood Park is the location for this WSL match between Riverside Olympic and Kingborough Lions. Luca Forrest here on match commentary for you today for what is set to be a fantastic game of football. A bit of sunshine coming out at the moment. There we saw some cloud cover earlier on this morning, but it's set to be a tantalising match with some beautiful sunshine. We're just about to get underway here. The officials are out, the linesmen are ready, and both teams seem set and ready to go. Kingborough Lions line up with number three, Danielle Kanangisa, number five, Ava Wiley, six, Georgia Edwards, seven, Amelia Howe. Where on the armband today is Laura Davis, number 10, 11, Hannah Walsh, 13, Kiara Lashma, 21, Josie Rose, 15, Anna Fuchs, and 17, Eloise Payne. Moving over to Riverside now, two, Meg Connolly wears the captain's armband, three, Lucy Johns, seven, Imogen Donahue, 11, Charlie Reed. 9, Amy Littlechild, 10, Estelle Tompkinson, 12, Skylar Higgins, 13, Isabella Taylor, 14, Sarah Moore, 17, Hannah Connolly, and 21, Kathleen Fuller. Run away here, Lions on early. Shot saved. A look to go here, the energy's on here early from the Lions. We're seeing Danielle Kanangisa looking to go early here. Riverside now with an opportunity to go back up the other end and look to impose themselves on this match. Long ball forward falls, and no result from that. It'll be a throw in. Both these sides lining up very, very strongly for this match. Riverside haven't played yet in this WSL season for 2024, where we saw the Lions pull off a fantastic 1-1 draw against South Hobart last week. Now it comes up the line to Ava Wiley. Wiley drives forward to Walsh. Walsh with a bit of a slip there, a bit of a mishap, but the tackle's made by Riverside. Riverside looked to play back through the middle. Ball intercepted by Kingber again. They look to go. Pass made through, but, King, but Riverside have numbers everywhere. Kingber packing intensity early as Wiley makes the tackle, drives up the line, trying to find Kananjisa, but is unsuccessful in that attempt. It will be Riverside throwing. It'll be Isabella Taylor to make the throw in. Riverside in the orange and blue colour scheme with the home side Kingborough Lions wearing the fantastic blue and black. Throw in, look at the come here. Will they go up the line or play through the midfield? The ball goes up the line. Numbers everywhere here for Riverside as it drops a bit wildly. And it'll be another throw in for Riverside. Isabella Taylor to take again. We've seen some energy early here in the early parts of this match as the ball goes right up the wing. Wiley there looks to impose himself, but no result of that. Eloise Payne, we can see, holding a defending position. Riverside in the stoppage, just inching their way up the line, hoping to have a break here shortly. Wiley seems to be covering that ball well, but Payne covers across, looks to make the pass, but it'll be out again. Well, very little actual football has been played here so far. It's just been throw-ins up the line. Good thing they've been practising in training how to do the throw-in. Both sides lining up strongly here. We've seen a lot of passion so far in these first five minutes. Throwing comes for Riverside. Challenge made. Nice turn there. Taylor at it again. But it'll go. The Lions won't look to play up the line. Lofted shot over. But Riverside got numbers back everywhere. We saw there. Amy Littlechild control that ball and clear it out of danger. Long punt forward, trying to find numbers for Riverside. Go again. Look for the security of the back line there. We saw Meg Connolly, the captain. The ball off it over as it goes far side. Kingra again, look, just control. Slow down the tempo a little bit here in this match as they look to drive through the middle, through the capable feet of Amelia Howell. Up the line they go to big number nine, Christabella Moore. And no result comes that attack. So we've seen them racing out of the block so far in this match. The Lions are going to impose themselves here at their home ground, Lightwood Park. But the tempo is slowing down a little bit now as the corner is going to come in the way of Kingborough. The hands are up, cross comes in, a little bit low, looking to find the front post. Unfortunately, hits the side netting. There'll be no result that way. Kathleen Fuller in Gales for Riverside today. Look to send that ball up. No numbers forward at the moment for Riverside. It seems Kingborough are very well set up defensively and they're really, really looking to impose themselves on this game so far. Blow to the middle, a bit of a lost touch there. Gives Kingborough the opportunity to go forward. They look to switch, but the ball for Riverside's way. Looking to play up the line. Wiley to make a tackle, but he's sent past. A little bit of a cross over there. 
play through the middle. Nice pass taken, but numbers not there for Riverside. Cross comes again, goes to ground. A bit, a bit of a scrap there in the midfield with the tackle. Not much happening. It's been pretty even, Stephen, so far in this game. As Taylor again looks to volley the ball forward. We can see... You can see Hannah Walsh there on the ball, looking to play out the back now. Wiley goes through. They have Ken and Gisa there. They play back to Wiley. Wiley again, just passing and just controlling the ball so far. Slowing the tempo down a little bit. Looking to play out from the back and look for those options either wide or right down through the middle. So this will be working so far. I'd say in this first five minutes, it has been going the way of the line so far. Payne with a lofted shot over, trying to find Ken and Gisa. Does find her. But Taylor there looking to make the challenge. Challenge from Riverside. They go forward here on the counter. It is Laura Davis, the captain, looking to drive their way through. Looks for the cross. Cuts behind in the danger zone. But a nice block there from Riverside. Ball's not clear yet. Hannah Walsh goes again to the captain, Laura Davis. Not quite the result they're looking for there. Well, Gingra so far on the attack, the captain leading from the front. You'll love to see your leaders in the team imposing themselves and leading the way, racing out of the blocks are Kingbra. Riverside now, how can they respond from this chance to go forward as Fuller sends a low one forward? Not quite the result that was expected there. Trying to find Charlie Reed, but not quite the result they were looking for there. They go through number nine, Amy Littlechild again. Shot is in. What a goal that from Kingbra. What a way to start the game here at home. A fantastic strike, that one. Simple as you like. Bit weighted, bit of a weighted shot, that one. As we see some cockatoos and glass flying overhead. What a sign that is from Kingbra. Absolute class, that one. What a way to start the game for Kingbra. Riverside now. How can they respond from this early setback in the first 10 minutes? Not quite going their way, but they're going to play. They're going to play like their life depends on it now. Donahue lofts it over, trying to find numbers forward. But again, Kingbra set up in the back. They've got those three defenders looking to hold wide. And we see Georgia Edwards looking to hold out the wide position as they try and go up the line. Lofted shot in danger for Riverside. Open goal, but nothing comes as a result. That was a fantastic opportunity to convert and get back in this game. But chance not taken. As Kingbra now looks to play up the line. Challenge taken. Look for the overlap. They won't. They'll go back to Payne. Payne looks to drive the pass forward. They've got options coming every direction through the midfield, up the wing. Tackle made there crucially by Skylar Higgins. Looks to drive, but again, no result comes of that counter. Riverside now in this... Riverside now in this fast part, five minutes rather, have been looking to put them under pressure. Certainly looking to bring it back to a 1-1 situation, which is much more, much more manageable. And going into half time, a couple of girls down. It'll be Lions to throw in. They take the quick throw in as they go over the left hand side of the pitch. Looks to play back, but under a bit of pressure from Riverside. This is good to see here. As they look to go over the opposite side of the pitch to number three, Daniel Cass and Dennis Gia. Crosses through. It is there to Laura Davis. The captain looks to convert, but Fuller comes out of the net with a bit of bravery to save that one. Kingra couldn't make a result on the on the dis Fuller now. How can Riverside respond? We've been seeing some good stuff from them, particularly over the left-hand side. We've seen them look to move, look to go a little bit faster and putting Kingra under pressure on every pass and on every challenge. You can see that three at the back with Payne holding a centre-back position so far. Going to play a crucial role in this match to come. As we know, Riverside are deadly if you give them the opportunity. Got a bit of a speed race happening out on the left-hand side. They Using the wide positions from Riverside. They've got options coming forward now. Look to play through the mids. But again, that ball will fall out and no result comes with that counter-attack. It's good to see them going forward. It's good to see Riverside having those chances to score, but it's all about converting those chances. If you don't convert those chances, the game may just slip away from you. But we've seen so much from both sides here in this first couple of minutes. The sun is beaming down here at Lightwood Park. Visibility is high. The pitch conditions are very, very dry. Not a lot of dew. We did have some rain yesterday evening, but it appears to be dry out and looks to be a pristine pitch with some fantastic weather for this football match. 
King were looking to go up there, but nothing coming of the result. Lions on the throw in. Look to go forward. They play back. They've got options setting up while they look to switch. They look to drive their way through. Good bit of power there. The mistake comes. Tackle made. Riverside here in a deadly position. Looks to play around. Dances past a couple. Shot taken, but nothing comes as a result. Bit lofted that one. Trying to find the top left-hand corner, but unfortunately nothing comes as a result for Riverside there. Though they are going forward, putting the lines under pressure. It'll be... This is set to be a fantastic match so far. They'll play quietly at the back to Payne. they got Wiley out here on the right-hand side. They'll drive through, try to find Cannon Gisa. Strong tackle made. Foot races on keeper versus player. And my philosophy when I play football, when in doubt, kick it out, comes into effect there. Strong bit of defence from Kingra. Can we tailor again on the throw in? She's had about six or seven throw ins so far in this match. Particularly look to play from the set piece and look to play forward. Comes through, not a bad touch taken, but again, nothing will come as a result for Riverside. Loft today, over, it will be King turn to now go from the keeper and look to counter attack. Jesse Rose, goalkeeper for Kingbra Lions. Looks to play to Ava Wiley. Wiley plays on the line. Goes back to Payne. Payne with a touch again. He's being pressured into the corner. The mistake comes the way of Eloise Payne. Good bit of pressure there from Skylar Higgins from Riverside. Strong challenge made. It'll be Kingbra now to go forward. They use Hannah Walsh as that catalyst to go forward. It's the captain now. Laura Davis looks to drive her way forward. Looks to take on the whole Riverside defence. The captain leading from the front here. Gross comes in. Chance, but false. The safe hands of Kathleen Fuller. Look to go quickly here through Taylor. And on the right-hand side, tackle made. New get taken out by the ball there. Commentator in the action, you'll love to see it. It'll be Taylor again on the throw in. Saw me life flash before my eyes on that one. The ball nearly took me out. I tried to take a touch, but unfortunately, a little bit too quick for me in the blunts and boots. Headed back. King was a strong defence, but well bodied that from Skylar Higgins. As it's Riverside again. Looking to drive their way through Charlie Reed. Blind their way around the box. Slips. The mistake comes. Gingber looks to go now. Look to go on the break. Play up through the line. It's Wiley looks to cut back but loses control of the ball. Looks to go on the throw and they've got options setting up the line. Touch taken. But runs into some Riverside defenders. Working hard here, both sides so far, as they look to go through Charlie Reed. Pain there, cuts her off. As it will go back to Josie Rose in the keeping position for King Reliance. Looks to find Hannah Walsh. Walsh misses the volley. Now Riverside again look to play through the midfield to find a chance forward. Now credit to the King defence. They have been strong so far. A brick wall in defence, particularly Eloise Payne, linking up with Ava Wiley down on the right-hand side, looking to go forward every opportunity they get. Josie Rose, short pass option taken. They've got options wide. They look to drive it on the opposite side. Pass doesn't come of much, though. Trying to find George Redwoods, but unfortunately cannot find the pass. Throwing comes away, Riverside. Look to play through here, cleared strongly from Amelia Howe, the captain there. Laura Davis for King tries to fight their way off too, but unfortunately the result does not come. Look to drive through again, strong defending from Eloise Payne. Riverside now looks to drive their way through, has a shot. What a save that one from Josie Rose, diving to her left hand side to stop what would certainly be a goal if the effort wasn't made. And a strong tackle made by Eloise Payne. No messing about here from the King Red defence. They're not taking any prisoners today. Strong goalkeeping and a strong tackle by Eloise Payne. The mindset is clear, we can see, from Kingborough. 
Riverside now looking a bit better in this past 10 minutes. Looking to go for a little bit more, just cutting off Kingbra's chances. That created that first goal. Go forward now, stuck in the corner. Looks to delay the play, looks to find a pass out. Does find the pass. That'll be out. The linesman flag goes up and it'll be the way of Kingra this throw in. Throw in comes, finds Amelia Howe. Carol Lashma looks to pass forward. Kingra now an opportunity to go forward. There's the captain again. We've seen so much of Laura Davis so far in this first half. Many, many different touches, many passes made, and certainly she's been controlling the right hand side of Kingra's going forward. Riverside now again. It's been all in Kingra's defensive half for the past 15 minutes. As Riverside looks to drive their way through using Charlie Reed. That the ball falls just quietly. Shot made, chance here for Charlie Reed and Josie Rose. Strong and capable hands. Daniel Cannon Gisa drives the ball forward. Trying to find the skipper, Laura Davis in the armband, but does not find the pass. As quick as it left the hands of Josie Rose, it's back in them. So much pass and so much energy on display here in this first half. So Kingra have the advantage, they do have that goal. As a bit of a cushion they can settle on. Wiley there loses control, good tackle made by Isabella Taylor. Taylor again now to take the throw in. Goes long to drive it. Header falls just quietly, looks to clear the ball up the line. It'll be Taylor again to take the throw in. I tell you, commentating from the touchline has its perks. You do see a bit of action and you are in a bit of danger as well of the ball falling your way. Tries the header but tries something a bit different and hits it with the back, tries to do a bit of a ramp. But unfortunately, the unorthodox tactics don't pay off on that occasion. Charlie Ree there with a strong challenge. Josie Rowe looks to play down the left-hand side, finds numbers. Christabella Moore out on the left-hand side in a strong position, looks to drive away for Riverside with a strong clearance though. It is Anna Fuchs under a bit of pressure. The ball will fall out the way, the way of Riverside it appears. The ball has been retrieved and we look to play forward here. In this past 20 minutes, I have to say, Riverside have been going forward, creating chances, particularly through Isabella Moore, through Amy Littlechild, through Charlie Reed, putting Kingbra under a bit of pressure. Kingbra haven't really had a chance going forward so far. Can they make one here? Loft the shot over, tries to find the skipper, Laura Davis. But again, Fuller comes out and says, no, not on my watch. Wiley again on the wing. We've seen so much of it so far in this game. Charlie Reed misplaces the pass there. Reed looks to overlap. Drives through, pass made to number 12. Skylar Higgins has a go. Falls into the saving capable hands of Josie Rose in goal. Josie Rose this past 15. So much to do, a lot of work. Putting a shift in so far for Kingborough. As the ball falls to Danielle Canengisa. Payne looks to make the challenge, but Riverside looked to go strongly out the back through Meg Connolly. Anyone's ball so far, it will fall the way of King Re Hannah Walk to be more specific. They look to go through, looks a splitting pass to the captain, Laura Davis. Walking Davis great so far. Drives to go with a bit of speed, but Riverside know the Riverside know the dangers. They put their own captain on the captain, Meg Connolly. Captain on captain play so far. Cross comes in in the danger zone for King Re takes the touch, looks to go. But nothing comes of that. Bit of a strong challenge, a very dangerous tackle made, but the result came. Look to drive forward. Eloise Payne again has something to say. Quick turn and controls that ball nice. 
an enforcer in the back, even pushing forward into the midfield, playing a sort of a central defensive midfielder role, along with a key centre back, doing so well so far in this match. As the volley comes, optimistic, but that'll fall onto the hill, and no result comes to that. But easy pick up for Fuller. You can see Riverside looking to go forward here, using the wide positions, particularly from the throw and from the set piece. Isabella Taylor had so much of the ball so far in this half. Though we have seen the mindset of Kingborough as well. Any opportunity that comes in the final third, they're going to be ruthless in trying to take that chance. Though Kathleen Fuller, not much to do so far in this match. Wiley shoulders it. Goes through. Very, very dangerous. Wiley, along with Moore, through the midfield. Moore again plays back into the security of the centre backs. Payne, why they look to, they look to switch it up. Wiley again. Wiley wide, but a crucial tackle made there by Riverside's Amy Little Child. Certainly would have been in a bit of danger if the crossover to come there as Payne looks to cut behind the security of the centre backs. Are they going to look to switch from right to left? They are. Though the pass a little bit later than they would have liked, giving Riverside the chance to get right back on them. Just the one goal so far in this match. King Reliance leading 1-0 against Riverside. A bit of a north versus south clash. Though even, even though it is a 1-0 situation, both sides with a lot of passion, Riverside going forward. I'd say they've been the better of the two teams in this past 20. Connection so far here between Kingborough has been a bit, a little bit disjointed, as we can hear the coach just giving some kind words of encouragement, making sure to remain connected to your teammates. Very, very crucial in the game, of course. Game stops so far. A little bit of a limp comes, but it appears all is okay as we get play back underway. It'll be a drop ball situation as they come for the free kick. Riverside getting numbers forward, particularly in the wide areas. Charlie Reed again looking to impose herself on the game. Bang, what a pass forward. Trying to find numbers, but again, that Kingbra defence. Strong Charlie Reed again. Left hand side looks to cross, looks to find numbers. But as soon as the danger comes, the Kingbra defence mounts to the challenge. Strong, strong use of the body there from Anna Fuchs. Amy Littlechild looking to go deep in the box. We can hear both the coaches giving their tactical analysis so far. If a half-time show does come here for Football Tasmania, I certainly would love to see some of the coaches doing a bit of match analysis. Drives forward now, Riverside got numbers back. They're going to look to find a smart pass, potentially across through here, going wide on the right-hand side. They drive it in, the cross comes. But again, that strong Kingbra defence has something to say about it as the ball is cleared out. A bit wildly there. The ball comes back again. It is Riverside in control of this past 15. Kingbra haven't really had a much on the counter-attack or on the attack at all, trying to use the wide positions. King Rev learned from their mistakes in the, in the conceding of that first goal. They've really been piling the pressure on, trying to convert these chances into goals, but if they cannot do that, it really asks some questions. No doubt at half-time, the coaches. We've got some questions to ask about each side. The corner looks to come in. It'll be Amy Littlechild on the ball for Riverside Olympic. As we see Charlie Reed, along with Skylar Higgins in the box, along with a very tall Imogen Donahue looking for the header. Header comes, it drops into danger. Tries the volley, but nothing comes to that. Again, the captain's into danger. Nothing comes to that. Wiley, little pass through. Back to Hannah Walsh. They look to switch again through Amelia Howe. Back to Payne. 
back to Josie Rose in goal. Putting under a bit of Josie Rose under a bit of pressure there, Riverside, looking to force the mistake and potentially capitalise. They play through, touch taken. Look to go again, Riverside on the switch again. Riverside had so much to this ball so far. It is absolutely phenomenal how much possession they've had in this past ten. They've certainly tactically changed their makeup and they've got those key players they're relying on to get the ball forward through the midfield and just impose themselves. The ball dead at the moment. It'll be a free kick the way of Kingborough. You can see the captain, Laura Davis, addressing the troops. How are they going to counter here? Davo looks to get in there, Laura Davis, but nothing can come of that. Laura Davis waiting for those chances to come forward and show why she is the captain, why she is wearing the armband for King Lions. Lions again from the corner. Riverside looking to address the threat necessarily. It's going to be Hannah Walsh on the corner. Wiley waiting for the loose ball to drop, trying to find a marker. Wiley runs through, tries to find the header. Oh, it's a bit of a scramble. The scramble comes. The danger's not done. Hannah Walsh drives it in low. Walsh has it again. It'll be Charlie Reid looking to come forward and address the challenge. Kingborough drive the ball through, misses the cross. They drive it in low and a goal! What a strike that one. Bottom right hand corner from the left hand side. What a fantastic strike. My word, the mistake comes from King the mistake comes from Riverside and Kingborough jump right on top of that. What a fantastic strike from Kingborough. Certainly was a fantastic goal on the composure. Crosses the, crosses the whole face of the goal from left-hand corner to the right bottom corner of the net. Lions certainly have the advantage in this first half. Going into half-time, 2-0 up certainly, certainly is a very nice likelihood. But can add another one to that tally? Lions again look to play forward. They go back to security over Wiley. Wiley misplaces the pass. Riverside now with the chance to cross. They look for the overlap. They drive through. Shot cannot come. The Eloise Payne. Eloise Payne rises to the challenge again. Eloise Payne has been so crucial as a centre back. Almost at times playing as a central defensive midfielder. But again, rises to the challenge and makes a necessary tackle to keep Riverside down. Amy Littlechild now looks on the corner. Drives in, it's a good, good cross. Looks to find numbers on the rebound volley. Just sails over the crossbar. Optimistic chance from Riverside, but nothing comes of it. Josie Rose drives it forward. Looks to play. Kingbra now. It's a bit of a scratch with the middle. Both go down in the challenge. Though the official keeps play rolling. As they look to drive here. Strong challenge made there by Danielle Kanangisa for Kingbra. Wiley looks, to, looks for the throw in back to Payne. Payne controls back to Wiley. Wiley takes a touch. Drives it through the midfield. Good pass. Drives low and sharply. Another goal. Celebrations come. It's full of still on the ground. Asking questions of what happened there. Certainly here, I must admit, in the commentary position, I didn't quite see what happened there, but all I know so far is that it is 3-0 the way of King Blinds. King Reliance has been ruthless so far. Any mistake coming from Riverside, and they're right down their throats again.
Kick off comes. Touch taken. Plays across the back. Looks to go. Strong challenge again from Kingborough. It'll be Cannon G to drive forward through the skipper. Laura Davis. Chance on again here. Not out of the danger yet. Hannah Walsh down in the right hand side corner. For under pressure now finds Cannon G. Looks to cross it. Oh. What a chance that was. What an opportunity that was. A positioning there was absolutely phenomenal. Good understanding of where you need to be and good understanding of what could happen. And very nearly was 4 0. As Fuller goes searching for the ball behind the shed, it's found and brought back into play. Meg Connolly playing in the centre back position for Riverside. Brings the ball back for Kathleen Fuller. Meg Connolly is a captain, certainly going to need to begin rallying her side to a common cause. They are down 3 0 in this match so far. They're going to need a catalyst, a lot of spark to inspire a counter-attack. They're heading into half two on three nil. Certainly isn't the um certainly isn't the expectation from either side. They were certainly gonna favour Kingborough. They play back, looking to create more options forward. Davis again looks to drive forward. Challenge made. And it was a good challenge, a necessary challenge needed to be made. Davis again is not out of danger yet. Drives through. Looks for the volley but just catches the wrong side of the foot and it sails very wide left hand side of Kingborough's attacking end. Riverside now drive forward. They've been looking to go wide all through the centre. The ball falls now. They look to play up the line. A good pass made by Riverside. Chance, opportune here. They cross. The ball falls to Charlie Reed. Reed superior there to Wiley. Wiley with a strong challenge made. Looks to cut back behind. Plays it delicately to Kanangisa. Back to Kanangisa again now. Looks to drive. He's got options behind and forward. The lofted pass drives through. Piercing that Laura Davis looks to cut across, but when in doubt, kick it out, comes into play there for Riverside. I don't know if that's part of the tactical handbook, but uh, still Tomkinson rises to the challenge necessarily. Both coaches quite vocal so far in this match. They play back, look to drive forward. Wiley looks to find the, small, the, the short piercing pass. Drops to Payne. Payne can either drive one through or have a cross. She looks to drive. Looks to find the runner through and she does find Hannah Walsh. But nothing comes of it as it will just sail over the line delicately. The sun, the sun has gone behind the clouds, a little bit darker here on the pitch. That will make no impact though on the match so far. And it will, will not change the fact that Kingborough are in control this past five minutes and are in control of this match. Three goals to nil. Ali. Drives forward to Payne. Have Wally wide. Wally on the overlap looks to meet the challenge. Taylor there. Taylor there with a bit of an unoptimistic touch. Nothing comes of it again. Pain on the ball. Either drives forward or finds the overlap up the flank. Hannah Walsh looks to drive forward. She's got Wiley driving in a lot of open space. Doesn't go her direction, go through Cannon Gisa. Cannon Gisa has a crack. Nothing comes of it. Lofted clear. Strong challenge that from Riverside. Again, it's Walsh again. Drives the pass forward. Nothing comes of it though. Taylor rises to the challenge as Cannon Gisa makes a strong challenge. Delay, easy, just delay. Looks to pass, does Charlie Reed, but can't find anything. 
Lofted ball. Charlie looks to drive it down the wing, looks for the cross. Simple as you like take for Josie Rose. Taylor in a battle against Walsh. Wiley gets involved, stops any hope for counter-attack. Thought to drive to the midfield, do Kingra. Cannon Jason looks to drive, but the superior pace of Riverside's Meg Conley, the skipper, nothing comes but a strong challenge made. A bit of a collision. Lofts over. It's Laura Davis on her own, has a go, chips the keeper. <coughs> Attempts to chip the keeper. Attempts to find the open net, just sailing a little bit to the right. There's not a lot of wind at the moment, but the wind wouldn't certainly have not played a factor. Though that chance will go begging. I don't suppose it matters in this half so far. They are up 3 0 with the lines. Kathleen Fuller to clear this out of danger. Looks to use the left hand side. Riverside and Kingbra. Deadly challenge. Cannon Gisa tries forward. Though Walsh is there, primed and ready in the position to pounce on the mistake. Walsh drives. She's got Davis, the captain in an open position, but Kathleen Fuller takes that, diving towards the right-hand side, bottom corner. Good. Ah. Good. Eloise Payne takes it again, Wiley tackled again by Charlie Reed. Reed controlling this right-hand side so far as Wiley dives in to make a strong challenge. It'll go to Payne, the enforcer at the back. Back to Wiley. Wiley looks to drive her way forward. Some positive movement here from Kingborough. It'll be Taylor again to go right back to her favourite spot, her most common spot so far in this match, and goes for the throw-in for Riverside. Strong throw in, tries to find options, does. Clear strongly, but a nice challenge made there. Skylar Higgins. Wiley on the throwing, looks to go deep, looks to find, looks to find the skipper, tries a little bit of trickery, does find a bit of trickery, a good turn there. Tompkinson sent Packen. Touch taken, looks to drive one forward. Riverside, though, rise the challenge. Just saw the pass, a good bit of vision from Imogen Donahue. Ball back in play very, very quickly. Goes for a slide. Bit of a dangerous tackle, that one. Very strong tackle, that one. As it'll be Riverside to take, driving forward. <laughs> Loose ball drops in a bit of danger, but Payne on the challenge, plays back to the safe, safe, capable feet of Josie Rose. They look to drive Wiley in support. It'll be Walsh to play through to Cannon Gisa. Wiley again drives, looks to find Laura Davis. Walsh again drives, good bit of link up play. Tompkinson with a key challenge there, stopping Davis in her tracks. And they look to drive up and go into the real danger area of this match so far. Taylor now to take the corner. Rowing comes. Charlie Reed floating around. Good throwing up the line, finds Walsh. It'll be out again, same result. Good. 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 
Taylor. Throwing comes. Drop strong challenge made. King are now going to play it safe in this final five or six minutes. They do have the lead, they do have the advantage, so nothing silly here would be the message from the skipper. They drive long and low up the, up the line. They go to Payne Wiley. In support, we'll go to Walsh again. Walsh in a bit of an enforcer. They look for the overlap, finds it lofted over. Davis in a much more forward position. Danger, danger, danger. For Riverside, shot comes. Cut inside there from Davis. Absolutely sublime. There was Cannon Gisa sitting in a very comfortable position in the box. That the shot was the uh, instinct at the time. Strong challenge made, Kingra. Looks to drive. A little bit of footwork. Riverside just to slow the tempo down a little bit. Don't concede again in this second half, because that would send them into half time 4 0 down. Very difficult to come back and score five goals to win the match. And no doubt, Kingra won't stop the onslaught as Walsh looks to drive, cuts back. Ava Wiley in support. Wiley oh, takes a touch. Looks to drive it in. Not quite struck as it goes, but the right hand side, not quite the side netting, just over the crossbar. Kathleen Fuller now starting to have a bit more to do so far. It's been very tumultuous this match so far. Both sides having periods of absolute dominance, and both sides having quiet periods. So the tempo from the start has slowed down considerably. Full up, drives, looks to go wide, Riverside again, on control. They play through, long lofted pass, looks to go up the line. Walsh, Davis in danger again. Cleared nicely from Riverside's defence. Short throwing comes Wiley to Walsh with the captain Davis in support. Cannon G are sitting there as well. Ball. Wiley cuts back. Deadly on the cutback. Looks to go again. Good bit of footwork. Cannon Gisa with pain in support. They'll play it back quietly. Looks to switch. Good challenge made. They're side. They've got a quick attack here. Kingborough have numbers back, but it's a piercing ball through by Riverside. Danger, danger here for Kingborough. They play back Charlie Reed. Strong challenge from Kingborough. Hannah Walsh there. In a key position. They drive through again to Charlie Reed. They look to find Reed on the left hand side. Old game so far, but nothing's come just yet for Riverside. They look to go through as an attempt. Still in play, still in danger. Reed looks to go back post. No one's there. Drops into the open space and that ball will peter out to the corner flag. Payne to Wiley. Wiley can G for in support. They find Walsh. Drives a low ball forward. Cannon G are again on the overlap. Looks to go back through, tries to find Davis. Bit of a mistake made there. Bit of a trip over the ball. Though the mistake doesn't cause things to go wrong here as they are going forward again. Kingborough drives a low piercing ball forward. 
Strong challenge from Riverside, rising to stop that counter. Lions here in control of this match so far. Riverside do have periods where they do look dangerous going forward. It's just that problem of converting those chances into goals, which has really been seeing them so far in this match. I wouldn't say they've been playing particularly bad. Very even matched in the midfield. And it was just that Kingborough defence is so strong with Payne and Wiley looking to control both the white and the central positions. We've seen a lot of Walsh so far in this match for Kingborough as well, looking to be a creator throughout the middle, looking to find smart passes, overlaps with Gannon Gisa and the captain Davis. Payne. That ball's going to fall. Wiley has a go. Lofted over the crossbar again. Reminiscent of five minutes ago where she tried something quite similar. Very, very shortly, we will be nearing the end of this first half in this WSL match between Kingborough Lions along with that of Riverside Olympic. About two minutes to go in this match. Fuller drives. Nothing silly from Kingborough. While she drives, challenge May, gets a rounder. Cuts back inside, a bit of open space, looks to find a ball forward. Just Fuller comes through with a pair of safe hands, looking to slow the tempo down a little bit and looking to control so far. You can go off it needs to, you can go off it needs to, easy. Easy away. Good. Pain. Back to Josie Rose. As the first half draws to a close here, King Reliance up 3 0 against Riverside here in this match so far. Both sides playing very, very good football, particularly through the midfield and going forward, though the, there is a mountain to climb for Riverside in this second half. We'll be back very, very shortly with more WSL action between King Reliance and Riverside Olympic. Luca Forrest on match commentary as the sun begins to shine. See you in about 10 minutes' time. With Macca's new surprise prize, you've got a one in four chance of winning. With millions of dollars worth of prizes, plus weekly draws for your chance to win $10,000 cash. Peel your fries for a chance to find a prize. Our McCafe blend isn't just barista crafted across Australia. Our beans are also sourced from Kenya, Honduras, Ethiopia and Brazil, then roasted in Melbourne. Just another reason it's coffee fit for...
so that the code is written from the left and right, and I'll just zoom in, and it will be from the other shoulder. Yeah. So you get a kind of bound space. A new that we that use, but for the rest of the time. Right. 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 Will, will we have a backdrop or just be No, no, I'll just zoom in. Can we turn again on the throne? Well, this is not a backdrop. I wasn't yeah. told about the... Oh, that's right. not quite it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Have you, have you switched it off? Is it off now? Yes. Right, so, so when you want to switch it on, come. Yes, there. Yeah. And uh, mm -hmm. you need to watch the blue light yeah. on it. And they will be flashing yeah, three, here. three times, right? Yeah. Three times on the other way. So it'll flash three times and both of them will just go blue. Yep. Yep. And then you know you're good. Oh, right, okay.
Well, we're back here for the second half of this WSL clash between Kingborough Lions and Riverside Olympic. That first half was all Lions as we saw Kara Lashma snag one and the captain, Laura Davis, snag two. Certainly a nice, comfortable lead here for Kingborough Lions. Riverside now with a mountain to climb. They need four goals to get back in the lead of this game. Certainly will be difficult, but not impossible. As we know, anything is possible in this sport in particular. Already, Lions are going to go on the attack early in this match so far. There is no wind advantage at the moment, though there is some sun beaming down. About 21 degrees here at Lightwood Park. Beautiful lofted ball forward. It'll be, it'll be Riverside on the counter-attack through Reed, who was so, so present in that first half of football, particularly on the left-hand side. Going forward, nothing was able to come from her work, but the effort does count. And certainly, if a counter-attack is to come... It'll be nice for Catalyst to light that spark and ignite the flame of hope inside Riverside. Riverside, though, as a side, are very, very capable of winning this game and coming back and making it a bit more favourable, though Lions with the home ground advantage. It'll be interesting to see how things play out in this second 45. Luca Forrest is my name, and I'm on match commentary for this WSL clash. It's set to be a fantastic game. So if you're tuning in for the second half, or if you're carrying on from your first half into the second half of this match, a big welcome to you all. It's a pleasure to have you here as a part of the McDonald's WSL in Tasmania. Gross comes in. No option found as Lions go on the counter attack. They look to go through more. Drops to Josie Rose. Riverside here in this first couple of minutes looking to show a bit of positivity, looking to remain positive as they go through Wiley to the captain who scored two today, Laura Davis. Davis lofts that through Wiley. has got to win the foot race now. She has been trailed all the way. Ball drops back to Lashma. Lashma fights. A bit of one-two step between Wiley and Lashma. Lashma fends off her player, who goes in for a very brave tackle, but things don't come of that effort. Lashma again, strong bit of physicality there from Riverside. Drives through, looks to loft that top. 
no result come of that. Very physical, this first five minutes of this match, I must say. Both sides, you can see how much it means to them. Gingra looking to hold on this 3 0 lead, potentially add a fourth, maybe even a fifth. And Russo looking to fight their backsides off to get back in this match. They drive through Wiley. They drop back. Again, that ball will be another throw in. It'll be Wiley to take the throw in for Gingra. Throws it into the danger zone, into the melting pot. Looking to have something come of that, but here go Riverside on the counter attack now. They have options wide and going forward again. Now as the captain Davis drives through, looks to find Walsh. Walsh oversteps the mark just ever so slightly. Wiley looks to trap, but not quite coming out. The side of the throw will be more preferable than trying to cross it in. Do come to the challenge, they loft back over into the open space. As it is, Gunn and Jason looks to shake, rattle and roll her way through a couple. Could we read again, looking to go on the counter. Danger, danger, danger now. As it's pain, looking to cut across and stop the danger from coming. Riverside now have options back. Now Gingra again look to play through pain. He's got options back, they want to play it safe, and they do play it safe. Back to the safe and capable hands of Josie Rose, looks to switch. Mistake made in a lot of danger there. And that'll go the way of Gingra. Deadly mistake, that one. Was very, very close to being caught. Being caught in the open. They look to play Carol Ashma back through, drives to Cannon Jason, takes a couple on, goes to Payne. Payne looks to switch, looks to use the wide position, looks to use a bit of pace, drives that ball forward, tries to find Walsh. Walsh drives through, trying to find the skipper. But again, that ball cleared comfortably. All happening here in this first 10 as they drive a lofted shot forward. Riverside again clear, look to drive again. Fends off a couple, lofted over, but no one home. Strong challenge made, the commitment will certainly not go unnoticed as they drive one through. Mistake made, mistake. Riverside have a chance, but just, just caves into a little bit of pressure. Chance now, Riverside have a shot. Ava there with a Ava Wiley there with a strong challenge as, Rivers, as Riverside looks to go forward and as Kingborough just fend off a little bit of danger there. Conceding one could create an avalanche effect. They concede one, they concede two, and then they concede three. And, and before you know it, they're right back on top. So Kingborough now defensively going to have to give a lot of, have to have to give a lot of effort, but certainly take no prisoners. Now speaking of the defence, it's now time for the offence to do a little bit. Davis tries for the hat-trick, just fires that shot very, very wide on the left-hand side. Not quite the side netting, but certainly makes the netting do its work. Kathleen Fuller for Riverside now. Got options forward, very strong options through the midfield, about five numbers up. They drive it, finds Kara Lashma, not not the result that they were hoping for. It's King would drive their way through. Trying to find the run from Laura Davis. Davis decided against trying to win the foot race. And it just sails out quietly to Kathleen Fuller. Low and hard driven. Challenge made again. It'll be more. They look to go wide. Taylor with a strong challenge. Not quite the result they were hoping for there. A lot of commitment, but the mistake made. George Red was just sales pass. A little step over. No, thank you. I'll keep hold of that. Gary Lashmar over Wiley. Wiley looks to drop one deep. Tries to find Walsh. Walsh will play it back comfortably, though. Moore steps over, 
challenge made by Riverside. A bit of danger now. Kingbra have the numbers back in support. Touch taken. Goes wide. Looks to drive through the midfield using strength and pace. Real pace. Shot. Kathleen Fuller dives desperately to her right hand side in order to save what would certainly be a goal in any other situation. Good bit of commitment from the Riverside keeper. They drive one deep, looking to find someone at the back post. Nobody home. As we drop into a bit of free space, they have options back. Riverside do have support. They are wary of how lethal King Bra are coming from the wipe areas, and they accommodate that fantastically with a strong challenge made by Donahue. They drive. Options everywhere now. A bit of a counter comes. They look to drive through with a bit of control, looks to switch it up, finds the runner, and does. They look to cut their way through, a bit of dancing feet there, trying to use real speed, Skylar Higgins. Nothing comes of that. They try and find Imogen Donahue again. Puts a foot in. Strong challenge. Interesting this now. Davis looks to drive her way through. Using real, real pace. Looks to cut between two and three like a hot knife through butter. Nothing comes of that. I suppose taking on two is a very challenge enough, but taking on three a little bit too much. They Riverside certainly aware of the presence and the threat Davis poses. Nice pass, trying to find something, but Wiley right in the path of that one, snatches it. They drive wide, does Kingborough. Now play back. Riverside only with the two sitting up. Now here's a chance for Riverside to go and create something here. Numbers four, they are outnumbered, the Kingborough defence, as all numbers try and rush back in desperation of such a counter-attack. It's a big, big mess as the shot's taken. Not quite the result hoped for there. Mm, nowhere near the goal, if I'm being totally honest. It'll fly closer to the corner flag than it will to the netting. Throwing comes Kingra's way. Carol Lashmar leaves the ball, uses speed, looks to come with a strong challenge as that ball falls. Ball comes in again. Riverside look to go strong here in this past five minutes. A lot of energy. They found the second gear. Touch taken. Kingra would go forward. Lofted shot over a bit of the bouncing ball now, as it is Davis who rushes forward, takes it past the keeper. Is she in a position to score from here? She is. She takes a shot and scores. What a goal that one from Kingra cuts her way through. Almost a little bit too wide, just guts back inside, sends the keeper back in. And what a goal that was. A fantastic strike that one. Kingra will be happy with that 4-0. Now their way at home, Riverside. Will that be curtains on this match? Or can Riverside continue the fight and potentially get some consolation back? Have a look at the scoreboard. It is 4-3 the way the home side. We have just seen a fantastic strike that from Kingra. And beginning to see Riverside look a little bit deflated. They are away from home in this match. They lost a shot over trying to find... But they do not. Wiley on the throw in. Over the top to Lashmar. Lashmar with the overlap. Good bit of play, that one. Looks to take him on with a bit of real pace. They have Davis in the centre. The danger, danger, danger is on here. Oh, bit of a scrap, that one. There are shouts left, right and centre for the ref. But the ref can't stay in the pocket. The whistle stays unblown. The strong changes made there as Reed looks to drive a ball forward. Riverside now. A bit of optimism, a bit of something about him. They have a shot. But just wide of the bottom right-hand corner. Not quite what you'd expect, that one. Certainly it's a bit... It's a little bit one for one, an eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. 
so far in this match. King will go forward and Riverside respond, but it is King with ability to convert those chances into goals. That is seeing them take a 4 0 lead so far in this match. They drive through to Lashmar again. Lashmar bends off two of them with a little hop, skip, and a jump. They play through. Lashmar again. Wiley goes up the line. No one there. Bit of a balloon's touch taken. They look to break through the middle with real, real speed, do Kingbra. Walsh out wide now. Very, very dangerous. Been a bit of a midfield creator so far, been controlling the spaces she has been in, giving Riverside a number of headaches as Wiley takes a shot, cuts back inside, has a go on the left. Strong challenge made, the hits aside, netting. Desperation there from Riverside, allowing Wiley maybe another metre or two of space, and I reckon they would have been in a bit of danger. A strong challenge made there by Riverside. They are down, but the fight is still there. It is positive signs here that the team mentality is to fight, fight, fight until the result goes against them. Corner comes in. It's a piercing ball. What a beautiful corner that was. Now I can get on the end of it, though. Very, very dangerous going across the face of goal. And Riverside now look to break. Lashmar goes forward to attempt to make a challenge, force it down the line, and does. Substitution made now. Fatima Otero comes on. For Riverside Olympic. Fatima Otero was held off for the majority of the first half, comes on during the second to try and have an impact so far and she's right back in the danger zone as that ball falls very close to where I'm standing here in commentary. I've had a few near misses today viewers as Otero looks to drive through. Takes a pass, they're looking to delay the play here so far. Touch taken, Mo Lashmar's right there again, forcing the quick pass to come. Wiley, going to look to go up the line, tries to find Lashmar. Lashmar leaves her marker for dead. I'm nearly struck again in the commentary spot. I'll get a pass away, that's one pass to Luca Forrest in commentary, as Wiley on the throw in. A lot of curve on that pass. King looked to go forward. Deadly stuff here. Riverside looked to build in the wide positions. So King were all over them at the moment. No real opportunity so far as they turn and look to go back up the other end through pain. They drive through Kingbra. Trying to find a pass, trying to find someone deep. There it'll be, Kathleen Fuller. Next up, please, Rat. Thank you, mate. Some subs to be made. Having a look so far, King, bruh. Looking to build again. They're about to make some substitutes. In the interchange bench, has a shot. Just wide. Georgia, Christopher. So, some substitutes to be made here. Three of them, in fact, it'd be Casey Bumford, Tegan Hennessy, along with Monica Patterson coming up at the moment. Wiley comes off. Wiley off, along with Christabella Moore. As Casey Bumford, Tegan Hennessy, along with Monica Patterson, are on for Kingborough. They've caught the interchange bug so far. Both teams making some substitutions. So one for Riverside, along with the three for Kingborough. How will that impact the match so far? As the new subs are already into it. Some, a set of fresh legs for Kingborough could launch them into even the third gear so far. As that shot sails wide right of the goal.
bit of music being played in the background for the game after this. So this is the WSL where we have the finest of women's football Tasmania has to offer. King will look to go again. Touch taken back. Got the line to Lashmar again. Lashmar, I've seen a bit of her in the past 10 minutes. Controlling in the wide areas. Getting in Jace, looks to take all of them on. Cassidy, one, two, and three, has a shot. It appears it's the, the referee points to the spot, does he? It looks to be a, almost a penalty. Well, certainly Kingbra wouldn't mind this. The free kick to be taken almost on the penalty spot. <laughs> Kingra looking to score here, certainly within range. It's blazed off for a moment. Tends to catch the breath as it comes in from Casanjaga and not quite there. Now the rebound and a goal for Kingbra. What a strike that one, picking out the crumbs. And is able to score. What is a absolutely apocalyptically excellent goal. What a goal that one for Kingbra, picking out the crumbs. They're waiting for the dropped ball on the volley. Oh, simple stuff. Goal fuller right off her line, almost still on the ground from such play. We can hear some car horns going off in the back as the King of Faithful are here in full to support their team. Certainly, we'll be happy there as the lead extends to 5-0. That ball forward again, Riverside. Kingbra, play through. Takes a touch. Arriving quickly, it's over the line. Kingber again within three minutes of that fifth goal. They've added a sixth on top. Having a sense, my word. You give Kingber a sniff and they'll be right back on top of you. That's now six goals Kingber lead Riverside by. Oh, you can just see the deflation on the faces of Riverside. That mountain is becoming steeper and steeper and steeper. Something Sir, Ed Sir Edmund Hillary wouldn't even try. You can just see the captain, Laura Davis, who scored a few so far in this match, rallying the troops. They can smell blood in the water. Come on, please, sheet work. Hold his, hold his feet. They look to hold in the safe hands of Josie Rose. Riverside now again trying to go forward, but not quite the result. They play back through the midfield, catching Riverside a bit unexpectedly here. Now it's Otero, cuts back. Looks to work here, the fresh set of legs. The foot race is on. Who's going to win this foot race? They take it wide. The cross is viable. Strong challenge made. It has been very, very fast style of play so far. We've seen Kingborough looking to go on the counter very, very quickly, very, very fast on the fast counter. That's been deadly for them so far. As Amy Littlechild sets out to take the corner for Riverside. Jans want them to score. They certainly have numbers in the box. A few sitting deep just in case a loose one comes. They drive one in low into the box. Shot comes, but Josie Rose takes it comfortably and lies on top of it. Keeping it nice and secure. No, thank you. I'm not letting this goal be scored today. As Carol Ashmar takes a nice touch playing it wide. Donahue along with Tomkinson through the midfield for Riverside. Looking to go forward. They try and find Isabella Taylor. Play through again. Danger is on. Payne. Nice bit of a back heel to clear it out of danger, though it's not quite out yet. No, they lofted over one. Falls into the midfield. 
and back into Riverside's possession. Lashmar rushes forward. The substitute, Monica Patterson, drives the ball forward, trying to find the skipper, number 10, Davis, but can't quite find her. Two King replays go for the same ball. A little bit caught tactically off their mark, but again, they're, they're up six goals, so I wouldn't be one to complain. King bred this match been so deadly in the final third, getting right up in close, conceding those chances, and even when the keeper saves a goal, just having that ability to go again, pick up the crumbs and look for the loose ball. They've been clinical so far in this match. Riverside, they've been defensively very good at points, and they're going for, they just haven't had that ability to score. No doubt they can score. They are very capable of scoring, particularly coming from the wide areas, but the result hasn't gone their way today. I don't want to say it's curtains just yet, but by the time the final whistle goes, we will know the result. But that window of opportunity is becoming smaller and smaller and smaller for Riverside to get back into this. A strong bit of physicality there. Taze looks to barge her way through. Imposing, bossing the midfield around. I am here and I am determined to score this goal. Goal doesn't come, but you love to see that mindset. Lofted ball over into the wide positions. Bit difficult ball to control, but they control beautifully, do Riverside. Kingborough. Riverside now looking to get in and have a challenge, a strong challenge made, but just falls back to Kingbra again. Payne so strong in the defence today, playing off to the central defensive midfielder along with the centre back, playing a dual role, sitting right up in Riverside's final third and being so clinical so far today. Payne can't credit the effort, you cannot fault the effort, it's been absolutely fantastic to see her play today. As a nice save comes to Kathleen Fuller. It appears King will want to make another change. Next goal kick, next set piece. Next on the ball is out of play as they look for a fantastic overlap. The cross option is available. They have to cut back behind. Try and find Lashma, Lashma. Well, it appears King to make the change. It'll be Greta Craverton Gunn to come on. And it will be. It appears Laura Davis has come off for Kingra as Greta Crepiton Gunn comes on so far. Big shoes to feel so far in this match, knowing the impact and seeing the impact they've had in the match so far. It's great to see Greta coming on, stretching the legs and having a bit of a run around. Riverside now on the throw in. It will be Sarah Moore. The loose ball patrolling around the box. Strong challenge there from Kara Lashma. Goes through. Little child lofts the ball forward. It's up to the Kingbra defence again. They'll play back to Josie Rose in a bit of danger. The mistake so nearly cost them. We've seen that once or twice so far in this match with King. We've just been caught off their line and just been putting the goalkeeper under pressure at Riverside. But given the lead in this match so far, they just haven't been able to capitalise. As here go Kingborough again. The Lions looking to fight again. There'd be little shoulder play through, shutting down that chance. It's Payne. Plays a nice pass through. Play slows down. The momentum shifts slightly. As Walsh looks to drive her way through, turns. It's a bit of space. Looks to slide in as Lashma cuts back in front as a go. Just diving right. Left hand side, just a little bit wide of the left hand bottom corner. Looking to have a shot. Though I tell you, the firing range has been very favourable to Kingbra today. We've seen no cards been brought out today, which is a positive. It's good to see a nice, clean match being played. Touch taken, outside of the boot place to Lashmar. Lashmar looks to switch, trying to find Cannon Jaser. Does, got many around her. Payne drives one in. No one home.
Riverside now on the counter. They look to go quickly down the right-hand side. The ball falls a little child, a little child on the volley. They go back again. Lashmar plays through. Lashmar looking to wrap up the overlap and does fantastically. Chance here for Lashmar to cut back inside using that superior speed and just misses the right-hand side. Almost kissing the post on the way through. That was very, very close, but a fantastic bit of play. They used that superior speed to just wrap around the defence. Nothing Riverside could do. She has been clinical so far in this match, particularly in the second half. We've seen a little bit more of her than we have in the first. It's fantastic to see a great player play. The mistake comes. Little child went in doubt, clear it. Falls to Walsh. Walsh cuts, weaves, drives, trying to find Cannon Jasa off the deflection. Riverside now, through Taylor, look to drive. No result comes of that. Lashmar again, drives to Walsh. Walsh plays through. Overlap comes, fantastic ball through. Can they finish? Not quite, fantastic stuff from Kathleen Fuller. Coming outside the box, showing a bit of bravery, drops down on the knee and just sends that ball wide of the goal. Good bit of aggressive, good bit of insightful goalkeeping there for Kathleen Fuller. Though all has been going the way of Kingborough Lions in this match so far, as Tegan Hennessy is going to send this corner in. Many tall options forward, particularly number 16, Casey Bumford. Drops. Keepers on the floor. As nothing comes of it. Certainly a big number of tolls in the box. The ball drops. It's to Hannah Walsh again. Looks to go wide. The header comes. Riffle looked to attack with pace. They stopped in the tracks by... Amelia Howell. Let's drive their way through now. Good bit of speed from Riverside. Looking to find that through ball. Can't quite find it. The official blows the whistle. Kingborough again looking to make the change. Here's Amelia House coming off and Lucy Thurston Regan going to come on. Let's go, Lucy! Lucy Thurston Regan coming on for Amelia Howe. Howe been so clinical so far. When Riverside have been on the counter attack, just clearing those balls, taking those touches, getting those balls forward to players like Davis, like Walsh, like Edwards. Oh, comes out strength from Josie Rose. Good bit of bravery there. Both goalkeepers have had their moments this match so far. It's been a very, very good match of football. We've seen a little bit of everything. Some fantastic volleys, some good strikes, good one-on-ones, strong challenges. It's been a bit of everything. And it's Fuller again to clear. Riverside Olympic in the orange, along with Gingra Lions, repping a beautiful blue and black colour scheme. Small little delayed pass, trying to find an option, but cleared fantastically from Riverside. Now they've got an option forward, they want to attack with pace, real pace. Still in the danger zone, Otero was to cut back behind the King all over it. Riverside there, going forward dangerously. Sarah Moore plays it back to Tompkinson. They look to drive the ball forward. Riverside now, every five minutes they have a good chance going forward, but they're just not able to score. 
Strong challenge. They look to dry through this little child. Cannon Jace so tries to relay a pass. Intercepted strong, strongly. As here go Riverside again on the counter attack. Reminiscent of five minutes ago. They drive, drive, drive. They want to take it a little bit wider. Cross comes in low. Driving to the bottom right hand corner. But again, Josie Rose too strong, too insightful. And sees that one coming a mile away. Lashmar now. Controls that ball forward. No real options to pass. He just sends it forward. Kathleen Fuller forcing to come out of the come out of the goal square a little bit. Drive as Lashmar again on the counter. Lashmar cuts back. Options are plenty. Walsh at false ground. Walsh drives, has a go. Bottom right hand side, not favourable. Fuller all over it. Only the one substitute been made so far by Riverside. Certainly a far cry from about the five substitutes that have been made by, by King Rap. So, it appears goalkeeper is down and out. So we'll have a bit of a drinks break. Whilst this is sorted out. Yeah, the goalkeeper is down. Kathleen Fuller has been down after that very brave challenge. Maybe copped a little bit of the wrong end of a boot or maybe hit the goalpost. Didn't quite see it from my angle, but hope she's OK as we see the medical team going out to address. And and comforted by Estelle Tompkinson all the way. King will use this opportunity to relay some tactics and to address the truth of how they're going to play in this final couple of minutes. Riverside Olympic to have a drink after the physical altercation, after the brawling battle that has been this game. We'll, come, we'll have a little bit more of a word on this of the state of Kathleen Fuller very, very shortly. Though, look, she is, she is really hurt. She has been on the ground for about five minutes, hasn't gone quite up yet. So I've got a couple of minutes of a break here in this match. As the sun comes back out from behind the clouds and beaming down 22 degrees here at Lightwood Park. It's quite a fantastic weekend day for a bit of football, absolutely fantastic. Not just football being played around Lightwood Park, but a netball nearby, a bit of AFL as well. But of course the focus of this match is on the great spectacle that is WSL action between Gingborough Lions and Riverside Olympic. It's good to see Kathleen Fuller up and about now. Estelle Tompkinson up as well. Righto players retake the pitch after that little bit of a break. It does appear that an injury has been suffered on the Riverside behalf. The King will line up. They've still got a bit of life in them. They've still got that fight, even though it is getting a little bit warmer. It has been a bit of a physical battle, and certainly skill, pace and determination have had a lot to play in the outcome of this match. Riverside take the pitch again now to resume where we last left off. It's about to come. Ball back into play. Lofted forward. <laughs> Good. 
to drive through now. Do Kingra. Shot comes. A little bit wide, that one from Kingra. A little bit wide from Monica Patterson. As we have just seen the injured walk past us. Interesting setup this from Riverside. They're still looking to remain in the fight. Ball comes forward, drops to Lucy, drives up the right hand side. Danger here. A little bit of danger. The ball drive lofted forward now. They drive right through. They play through now, looking to win the foot race. Ah, Riverside. And back to the safe and capable hands. Safe and capable feet, rather, of Josie Rose. Look to go forward now. Do Kingbra. Walsh, wide to Lashmar. Lashmar takes a step back inside. Only about a metre of space between players. Walsh! Ooh, that was a very, very close chance, that one. Going just a little bit right of the bottom right-hand corner goalpost. As we approach the end of this match and the end of the second half, it appears curtains are, have come the Riverside Olympic today. Ball is on, comes through. Taylor looks to win the foot race, though a lofted shot comes. The trees brace for impact. That was hit with power, real power, that was. In the, fast, in the final couple of minutes, they just want to keep that energy of the Lions. Show that they do not stop until the final whistle comes to Riverside. Now they are trying to maintain energy, but you can't help but look deflated, deflated after being 6 0 down. It's all understandable. Hasn't been, certainly hasn't been Riverside's day today. Defensively, they've been caught out a few times, and those mistakes have just been capitalised upon by a ruthless Kingborough forward line. Through to Lashmar in the left hand position. Lashmar, challenge made by Otero, strong challenge made. Right on top of Lashmar. Wind picking up here, blowing in favour of Kingbra. I don't suppose this win will mean much in the dying, in the dying minutes of this match. The Riverside Olympic continue to maintain strength, continue to maintain a good amount of energy. Crossed over to the right-hand side, looking to drive up through the midfield. Do they go Riverside on the quick counter? They look to go through their key players through the middle, running in channels everywhere, left, right, and certainly centre. Chance here for Riverside to score. That was good screening action. And that'll be cleared out. Fantastic screening action from Kingbra. Wanting, wanting to maintain a clean sheet here in this game. Absolutely clinical. That from Kingra's defence. Throwing Kiams trying to find a zero. It'll be out again. <laughs> lofted. Again, down here in the commentary position, we have seen a few balls flying left, right and centre. I've got to pass it myself today. So, it's all going well here in this WSL match. On and off the pitch. Lofted shot. Trying to find Kara Lashma. Won't quite get there. Just a little bit too much pace on the ball. Otero now. To drive up the wide position, cuts back inside the midfield. Strong challenge comes. Again, King will look to go right through the midfield, out in that right hand side in the wide position. They're driving with a strong amount of pace. Cuts through a cup like a hot knife through butter. Chance to cross comes, they have a shot! Right across the face of goal. Aiming for that bottom left hand side, but doesn't quite get there. Trying to maintain their shape here in this match so far are both Kingborough and Riverside Olympic. 
Ball comes back in the midfield. Cannon Jaser on the ball again. Walsh drives through. Cleared again by Riverside. Skylar Higgins looks to drive up. Got players in support. Again, Payne has been a great has been a great impact on this game so far for Kingborough. In this match, has been clinical, has been strong in the defence, has stopped many counter attacks and just made a physical presence up back. Otero, good cross through. Payne again, talking about how crucial she's been in this match, stops a counter attack. Ball well, isn't out of danger yet, but certainly stopped what was a very close goal. Good bit of energy here in this final couple of minutes from Riverside. If they could take some positive out of this match, it would be maintaining that energy, maintaining a sense of morale even though they are down 6-0. They drive back through the middle to Riverside. It's been a physical affair. Kingborough are looking a little bit tired. They do have some fresh legs out there. Riverside looks to drive right through. Shot comes. Josie Rose down on the knees. As simple as you like, save. Josie Rose, clinical again in this match. Absolutely phenomenal bit of goalkeeping, both on and off. Absolutely fantastic. It will be the corner for Riverside. It'll be a little job to take. Riverside looking to grab something here in the dying moments of this game. Something to cling on to. A bit of consolation. As both coaches address their teams in the dying moments, the cross comes in, looks to go deep. Options forward. Open goal. Cleared clinically. Let's go, go with it. Certainly not happy with that call. Certainly thought the ref should have done something about the tackle. But the ref keeps the cards and he keeps whistling in the pocket. Throwing look at the gum. King was set up well. Long throwing comes, trying to get over, trying to find Otero and does. At the pass, misplaced a bit. Cannon Jace looks to go through. Options both left and right. They go right hand side. Look to drive. Do Kingra. Taylor, strong challenge as they'll clear that ball. It'll be a, it appears it'll be a corner or throw in. He's a throw in the way of Kingra. Quick throw in, Kiams to Cannon Jaser. Looks to take a couple on. Strong tackle made. They drive through, out the back, lofted shot, touch taken, Hannah Walsh. A bit of a scrap there from Walsh. Walsh comes off worse, the pair. Riverside again, chance to go forward, runners everywhere. Otero, can she win the foot race? She cannot. She does win the tackle though, chance for Riverside. Riverside cannot convert that chance. Josie Rose lies on the ball just to maintain a bit of security. As the linesman's flag goes up. Josie Rose to punt forward to clear it out of the danger zone. Good clearance, numbers forward. Little child. And Gressa looking to win. The foot race so cleared fantastically. By Riverside. They look to go forward, maintaining positivity, maintaining a bit of a shape so far. Whistle blown. Bit of a strong challenge there. A little bit off shape, a little bit off kilter that one. The ref doesn't like it very much. It'll be Riverside to take. Going to drive it right. No, Josie Rose answers the cry, answers the challenge as Lashmar goes through the midfield. Chance through. It's Walsh with speed. Walsh with pace looks to shoot and just misses that shot.
looking to find that bottom left hand corner. Can't quite find it. That ball drops. Cannon Jason goes through, plays back. Bit of one-two action here. That Riverside got something to say about it. Touch taken up the line. Little bouncing ball. They cleared strongly by the Riverside defence. Very, very shortly it will be curtains on this match. It has been a fantastic display from Kingbra today. Six goals, ruthless on the... There we have it. The final whistle has sounded a 6-0 thumping. Kingbra lines gay Riverside today. Kingbra, both, the better of both teams today. Absolutely clinical up front. Strong in the defence, remaining, remaining a clean sheet side today. 6-0 at home. What better way to start your WSL season? Riverside not quite sticking up to the challenge today. A few mishaps, a few mistakes, which caused Kingbra to just pounce on them and capitalise. It's been a fantastic match here in the WSL between Kingbra Alliance and Riverside Olympic. I've been Luca Forrest on Magic Commentary. A big thank you for joining me. Very, very shortly, we'll have some interviews between players and coaches. It's been an absolute pleasure to have you here today as a part of the Watch Along. As both teams leave the pitch, a lot of energy, a lot of passion being put on the ground today. Though the final result 6-0 the way of Gingra Lions.